Do you know one thing I forgot to check uh, before moving onwards, and that's my new. I've got a. I've got a new mine, haven't I? Um, here, the ore extractor tier two. One super alloy rod, two iridium rods, and three osmium. How many osmium have I got left? Ooh, enough. <clears throat> I ideally want three. Uh, level two, tier two extractors. By the way, they take 200 energy per second each. So if I produce three of them, I'm using 600. I need more power. Okay, uh, alright. I need... My first course of action should therefore be a uranium tier two ore mine, because they can mine uranium. And osmium and sulfur. I think the tier ones can actually mine sulfur as well. But... I need to start making super alloy rods. That requires a lot of super alloy and an extra aluminium. So eight super alloy, one aluminium. I've got five. I can make three more to have my first one done. I should get that. I should get the uranium set up soon. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to need more of other stuff. Oh, I'm about to die of thirst. I should deal with that. Um, I've got a bunch of circuit boards I've got to put away. I'll put three of them in here. Uh, I'll figure out... I'll drink some of this water later. <sighs> Alright. Um, one of everything. And I need to make three, so three of everything, right? My brain says that works. Actually, get me... One, two, three. That'll have used up all of the aluminium I had, but luckily I've got plenty of that. <coughs> and that allows me to make my first super alloy rod. Whoop. Okay. I've got two iridium rods here and three osmium in here. So my first thing to do is to head over to the old, the old uranium mine, which is down near, on the way to Epsilon Base. It's sort of below and leads back to... I don't think it leads back to that weird formation behind uh, Beta Base. So I'm going to go do that. That way I've got a consistent supply of uranium. And I can start making more power. Because it's going to be my next problem. Uh, I've forgotten which way to go. I know which way to go. What the? It's on the... I can pick this up. An Orima plant. They've just got plants on the ground. That's, that's not even a seed. That's a plant. I can just pick that off the ground. I haven't seen that before. Okay. I don't know what I can do with that. Hopefully something. Now this... I'm hoping it fits in here. Because last time I tried to do this, it didn't actually fit inside the cave. I couldn't set it down. But this should be a uranium cave. So, But there should be no reason I can't plant this down around here. Yes, I can. And mine uranium. Right? This better work. Uranium. Alright, I now have a consistent supply of uranium. I need a consistent supply of... This allows me to make power. Lots and lots of power. I will be putting down more power stations uh, than you could possibly imagine. And then I've got to think about sulfur, which is my next bottleneck. And then probably osmium. Because I'm going to run out of osmium soon. Ah, where the hell did I get osmium from again? I think there are a few caves I can dig osmium out of around here. It does mean I have to go a bit out of my way and a bit of a trek. I miss the conveyor belts from... Um... Satisfactory. Actually, that makes me think of something. Um... There's been an update, but the trees are starting to grow. Hey, there they are. They're, they're, they're getting there. They'll... They're at 44%. First actual trees. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. There's been an update to this game since I last played. It has been a while. I've been a few weeks just doing other stuff and dealing with life and all that. So, there's been an update and I believe there's been a change to the map. Which is this one. That's as far out as I can zoom. I don't think that was there before. No, it definitely wasn't. It was all sort of blocked off there. So there's a new lava field right next to me, which I should have a look at. Um, 
I don't know if I can recall if there is any su substantial change to the map beyond that, but there's definitely a new area near me. Now that all looks roughly the same. Alright, so I, I think it's probably worthwhile checking that out soon. Uh, okay. That just needed explosive powder, so I really need to start thinking about uh, getting more sulfur. What was that? Food, probably. Okay. Arima plant. Oxygen multiplier, 450%. So it's a golden seed, basically. Or roughly the equivalent of. Uh, I don't know how to actually manage that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I, I fully understand how this works. Can I not research that? No, that's not how that works. I, I looked it up, and now I've forgotten how it worked. Uh, I think you put in certain things in here, and it'll either give you a recipe, or it'll put this in here? I, I don't know, because the, the one big problem I'm going to have is Lerma seeds. There just aren't enough of them on the ground. I've got to be able to produce them. I'm fairly certain there's a way to do that. I think I saw that as one of the recipes, but I have to look it back up in the wiki, and I uh, can't be bothered at the moment. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this tier 3 exoskeleton I should start thinking about soon, because that'll give me another slot. That requires two osmium, another super alloy rod, and a uranium rod. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in... What am, I, what am I lowest on? In terms of raw resources. I'm, I'm not great on iron, I'm not good on titanium, I've got way too much magnesium. I've got a lot of silicon. I need more cobalt. And that's bio, so that doesn't count. So cobalt, titanium, and iron would be ideal. S silicon, I keep hitting the wrong button. Silicon is sort of secondary and don't pick up magnesium for the love of God. There's a lot of silicon. I've got a bit of iron. I'll take the titanium and the iron. I'll leave the silicon for now. I'll come back to that. Titanium, definitely the cobalt. Leave the magnesium and the silicon. Not a lot of cobalt. Not a lot of cobalt. I have to come back for that. I need more of that. It's a, there's, there's a lot of it on the ground, but I really feel like I could be uh, mining a lot more of it. Getting lots of iron. Oh, speaking of... How are these going? I've got four methane cartridges. I can't imagine I'll need much more than four in one go that soon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let that in there. I'm also gonna take the silicon out of this one. So I might just let that be fill be full. Because I've got nowhere to put it. I've gotta make more storage. I shouldn't have all my water in here. I need a dedicated water storage. Because that doesn't really make sense. Nor, sh nor do my Pestera seeds, frankly. Well, actually, I can get those out of there and put them in here, along with the Arima plant uh, and the Lerma seed. And that means I can put the final circuit board in here and the golden effigy, which I will have to put down somewhere just to get this out of my inventory as well. <sighs> I, I've got now got too much iron, which is great. That's fantastic. In a way that is kind of annoying. Uh, I need more space. Uh, minerals. I got some space here for some spare iron. I'll just stick it in there. All right, no more iron. I'm picking up purely titanium and cobalt and maybe a bit of silicon. I'm also going to drink a water from here. I don't need to swap it. I just keep forgetting which button drinks. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. I guess it couldn't hurt to check. I'm going to go check on that um, uranium mine and see if it's, it's how much it's producing already, because I'd like to be doing that sooner rather than later. I'm also going to pick up some cobalt on the ground as I go. Because, as I say, power is going to be a problem. I'm going to get ahead of that. Fuck. 
five and some iron. Which I'll leave in there for now. Uh, slowly but steadily, I suppose. It's certainly not bad. It'll fill up probably when I do other things. So I can, I can go exploring for more sulfur. I think my next step would be to check behind that rock in that new place. And see if there's sulfur there. I mean, it's lavery. There's usually sulfur around lava. Isn't there? I don't know why. Sulfur I always get as a kind of hot thing. But it's not, is it? It just... It doesn't... It, sulfur is not hot. It just seems to be near hot things. So there seems to be a new passageway that's formed. We're just going to assume that that's not because of a developer update. That's because part of the rockfall has fallen while I was asleep in my bedroom that I'm not using. I'm just going to go with it. What was that? Okay, we'll have plenty of... of uh, uranium soon. I'll be able to put down at least one more of these uh, if I can find the sulfur for it. It looks much nicer than it than it did before. Did it destroy anything? I, I, I think I had three, right? I thought I had three level four miners. No, I have one level four miner and three level three miners. And a thing in the middle. I th for some reason, I thought this was this. Now, that's buffing everything else around here. All right, let's have a look in here. New location that has been made available to me by the magic of updates. And it's blocked off. Um, this doesn't look like it had... Oh, hold on. Can be destroyed with explosives. Well, that's great, but I need, I presume I need sulfur for explosives, and I don't have enough of that. Okay, well, you know, that's cool. I've, that's a cool thing for later me to worry about. I need more explosive powder. So I need to find some sulfur somewhere. I know there are places I haven't been, but it's a big map. This is just iridium, isn't it? Iridium rod, I'll take. Okay, now we've got a, another place we can actually enter with explosives. That might just be leading back up to the new location, actually. Alright. I'll take the iridium rod because it's basically worth nine iridium. I haven't got a lot of oxygen with me, so i got to turn back now. Uh, I didn't check that. Some cobalt off the ground. Cobalt. And yeah, head off. I, I I need to find. I'm trying to think in my head. I've, I'm. There must be a cave, but I don't think it's around past uh, sort of gamma base that area. I don't think there's any sulfur up there, but I think I'm more likely to find that around Epsilon base and near the entrance of the Mushroom River. Alright. Two probably isn't actually enough. Let's drop off this Iridium Rod. Drink some water, and I shall head on my way to scout again. Do you know what? I don't think I've looked at this end of this field. 
Like, around these rocks. I think I've mostly just beelined towards Epsilon base. Like, what's up here? I don't know. I could find out. I think it's just the back end of it. That's like the the map that sort of doesn't have anything on it. New blueprint perceived beehive. That's insects. That's that's oh oh oh. oh I want to no, I want to do that now. Bee lava. Well, that's gonna have to wait. Especially considering the fact. How do I get bee lava? I, I, do I have to find it? I presume I do. Maybe I have to make it in the DNA manipulator. Not that I'd know how. We'll look into that. I wonder if I can get to Epsilon base before I run out of oxygen. Probably not. Actually, yes, I can. I'm just gonna quickly refill oxygen before I do any more exploring. That's empty, I didn't leave any stuff behind. Alright, I might pick up a few extra cobalt because I don't think two uh, oxygen capsules is gonna be enough. I want another two. Just for safe measure. Alright. I get this distinct feeling you make... You either make bee lava in the DNA manipulator, or I'll find some... somewhere. I can't even imagine where. Like, why would they be in a ship? I suppose they could have been running zero-g experiments? Now, I've checked this ship, but I don't know if I've checked it entirely. I think... Oh, careful. Oops. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work properly there. I'm going to back away. Okay. This doesn't seem like it's it. I'm going to head over here. There might be a cave... in this sort of structure. Uh-oh. And I'm hungry. Are these interesting uh, asteroids or just iron asteroids? That one looks like it's coming right towards me. No, it doesn't. They're moving slower. At least this one is. It's just me. Yeah, just iron and random junk. Nothing particularly interesting. Whoa! That was, uh... That's why you don't just run around with your jetpack haphazardly. We've definitely got some obsidian fields here. I'm not going to bother too much about the asteroids. More aluminium, I'll take the super alloy. I'll leave the Pistera seed for now. There's another crate on the other side of this lava flow. If I can cross it. Which I genuinely don't think I can. If I jump across that, I'm going to go straight. It's, it, it propels me downwards. I need to make a bridge, I think, over here. Or I can get around it somehow. Oxygen level critical. Because there really isn't much of a way to get around. I... okay. Let's try there, up and around. Now what's this? Is it anything? It's more... it's just glowing because I think it got hit by a meteor. 
Hmm. I was unable to find sulfur last time I did this, so maybe I shouldn't be quite so optimistic, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm gonna stumble across some sulfur. Now, I think, and I might be wrong, that if I want to mine sulfur, I have to go to that, um, that gross, uh, toxic field behind the mountain near, uh, near beta base. I think that's what I have to do. That's what I want. Yeah, that's all fine. I'll take the fertilizer, certainly. Saves me the eggplants and the, uh, and the sulfur. And the extra... Super alloy does not hurt, not in the slightest. That's the ship. I'm back here again. This is frustrating. I'm going around in circles. Anything up here? Why is sulfur so difficult to get? There was a base down here. I don't know if I explored it entirely, but it might be underwater now. There it is. Is it fully underwater? Can I climb down and... No, it's fully underwater now. A lot of aluminium and another fertilizer and a zeolite I'll take. Spare water bottles. That's the way back up. It doesn't seem like it goes any further down. I think I've read the message. Okay, these. Oh yeah, and I should also mention something. I'm not more sure why I'm pushing to get out. Probably because I need to move. Now those numbers that were on the bottom of the um, the the inscript inscribed into the base of the um, the thing that carried the key in the magic uh, mushroom river. I think may also be coordinates, and I'm I'm not entirely sure how to read them, because uh, they don't seem to match. Oh no, there they do. Yeah, those are definitely coordinates. I just gotta locate my way to them. Now I think I wrote them down somewhere, so I can look into that. I've no idea where I wrote them down. I might have written down in a... Uh, uh, look, uh, I'll get that information somewhere, and I'll start looking into uh, what's at those locations. But yeah, those definitely appear to be uh, coordinates. So it's somewhere on the map. I can probably plan it out ahead of time. And I'm running now officially low on oxygen, so I've got to find some way to get out of this hole in the ground I'm in. And still no luck. Not a single sausage. Uh, when it comes to, uh, sulfur. With the possible exception of here. Oh. <laughs> right at the last innings. Thanks, guys. I don't want to seem unappreciative. Uh, so there might be a way to f uh, mine sulfur in here. I haven't really been paying attention to the, um, map coordinates. But I shall more. So, here. Here is definitely where I can mine sulfur. And there's a lot of it on the ground over here. Alright, now I know where to find it. And I know where to bring a mine. To... Uh, construct in order to extract sulfur directly from the ground. So I'm not having to run around like a headless chicken quite so much. If I can get this, an osmium mine, and a zeolite mine set up. Then I've got the more advanced material on hand for future need. But I'd better figure out a way out of this place. Because I'm I'm down to one more container of oxygen. 
I got a bit of sulfur now. Uh, I think I've got enough time to look for one more. I know I've, I'm near beta base, so I can grab more there. I think I should really be picking up all the sulfur I can get my hands on for now, till I'm in a, a position to put down a mine in here. I guess I should have looked a bit hard around here. This place does look very sulfuric. But I thought it was toxic. Also, it's hard to see. Oh, that's it. Well, not if I eat a food. Like, oh, that's no, fertilizer. <laughs> Let's get that. And one more. And then we've really got to head off because I just wasted a bit of oxygen there. Alright, back to better base. At speed. And then I think I'm just going to go head straight back up to Delta Base and start working on uh, new reactors. Easily done. I've probably got more aluminium than I strictly want. Let's go put the super alloy away. I haven't got much space for it. Yeesh. Okay. Um. Alright, I should make something out of these. I've got some iridium. Not much, though. Because I haven't been picking it up. I've got enough iridium to make a bunch of explosive powder. I'm just going to use it. That'll compress it down a smidge. So I've got four explosive powder. That lets me make, in theory, four tier two nuclear reactors. If I could somehow dig up 18, no, 12 uranium rods. I mean, the rest I could do, if I can just get enough uranium together, I can make four of these in good order. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that in... Not, not there. Not there. I'm going to put it in iridium then, I suppose. It's a place I've got space. Uh, I want... Now, I'm technically keeping... It's another attack, I think. I don't know where I'm keeping fertilizer. What do I need two fertilizer for? Uh, I could make another tree spreader. I only need tree bark for that. Doesn't cost much, much energy. Bacteria sample. Super alloy. Yeah, but, but I can make two of these. Alright. Let's make two more tree spreaders. I need two super alloy. I know. You want me to drink water. I'm gonna drink this water. And take one as well. I need two bioplastic nuggets. I need another super alloy, because I'm making two. I've got the two fertilizer. I need two tree bark. I'm just gonna grab that straight out of the terrarium. Uh, and I need two bacteria samples, and that's just a bunch of water and... Uh, I don't need a flare at the moment. That's just a bunch of water and algae, so I need six uh, water bottles. Finally. Two, three, four, five, six, and six algae. Easily done. And I'm going to make two more tree spreaders that are going to make more trees and make this look like a big jungle. Fuck, I'm one down. Uh, drink of water. Waste it. I don't care. I've got so much water, I'm swimming in it. There's a slight problem with this little plan I'm coming up with right now. Is I can put down the tree spreaders, but I can't insert a tree into it because I don't have enough linfolia tree seeds. Alright. Alright. DNA manipulator. Didn't can I make I, I can definitely make that. Mutagen, Shenga seed, tree bark. So I need two more tree bark. Two Shenga seeds I think I can do. And and two mutagen. Now, I've made mutagen before, I'm sure of it. Methane, bacteria, sulfur. Done. Okay, I'll have to make two more bacteria samples. Um, to... what was it? It was the uh, Shenga seeds. 
Now, have I got two Shanga Seeds just sitting in my organics? Yes, I do. Awesome. Uh, let's leave that there, and let's grab another six algae. I've got, not got the space for this, have I? I need to put away this aluminium. <sighs> I'm putting aluminium in my iridium storage for now. Alright, it can just stay there. I'll just remember it's there. Six. And I'm gonna grab some water out of... Oh no, I'll grab it out of storage. I definitely don't want to be holding on to it. Uh, it's still not enough, actually. Plus I need to keep two on me. So, I need two more from here. Okay, that should make two more bacteria samples. Which means I then need two sulfur, two methane cartridges. Good thing I picked up all that sulfur. Where did I put the rest of it? I kind of... Oh, no, yeah, I burnt a bunch of it as explosive powder. And I'm now already low on it again. At least I don't need it for the explosive powder, if I ever do in the future. Two methane cartridges. Two mutagen. Two shanga seeds. Two more tree bark might be a bit... Difficult. I might have an extra one in here. And if I could just dig up another one, I suppose I've accidentally kept one in bio. No, organic, sorry. Nope. So I've just got to wait for the terrarium to generate a, another tree bark. Which it's already done. Thank you very much. You're much you're very obliging. Uh, and then Is that it? Two mutagen. I didn't actually make the mutagen. Okay, and that lets me make two more Linfolia tree seeds, uh, which have the same as the Solitus and the Elitus, but, I mean, I could make more of that, but it, they all require tree bark and mutagen, so I'm just going to make Linfolia for now, because I know how that works and what that looks like, and... Oh, hold on. Do I put it in here? Okay, now it's sequencing this. No, okay, I thought it was just a sort of fancy... ...genetic-based... ...thing. It's doing something. Is it making one? I don't know what it's doing. I'm scared. Everything's blue. Okay. Now, beehives. Is there any suggestion on when I'm going to get bee lava, or if I'm going to get bee lava? There's no way I've got to make that, right? I check my messages. Message from Riley. That's new. I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. Try to get to two negative two four eight four two nine three. Yeah, I got that. Negative two four eight. Uh, I wonder if I know where that is. Can I get coordinates? from the map. No, I can't. Negative 248. I'm at f 1,477. That's a ways away. And, okay, so the middle number is my altitude. I was going to say height. So it's at 42, so it's a little lower than me, but it's above sea level. Negative 248 is quite a ways that way-ish. I think that might be the Mushroom River it's it's pointing to, so that was supposed to deliver me there. Uh, okay. While that's doing its thing, I think I've got enough to make a, a couple of extra bioplastic nuggets, so I'm going to... 
I think I needed four of those. And four mushrooms. Might as well be growing them. I grabbed too much silicon. It's alright, put it back. I need somewhere to store the zeolite and uh, osmium and sulfur and other things I'm going to be picking up. Alright, that gives me some extra bioplastic nuggets just because it's good to have more bioplastic nuggets. I have reached the forest. I have reached... I've, I've reached... wrought. I have, I've made it to tree levels. And next stage will be insects, which I'm still not producing any because I feel like I'm behind. I don't see any trees around me, but then I don't expect to. Alright, let's go check on the DNA sequencing. Does it take this long to make? 85%, 86. Hmm. I just don't know how to make lava. Like, where do I- I haven't seen that, ever. And if I'd seen it, I'd have picked it up. So, what am I missing? I've got the DNA manipulator. It manipulates DNA to create new genes. Shocking. Tier 2 food grower, I haven't been using. Because it, frankly, isn't necessary at the moment. So how would I make lava? Presumably there's going to be a way to do that. I have to make it. I've got a genetic... See, this looks like it. Use this to create new insects with larvae and mutagen. Mutations can create different larvae with the same recipe. Some mutations have to be discovered. I've got an air filter which reduces oxygen consumption depending on the level of terraformation. Hydration level low. It's going to be in here, right? Air filter? No. Huh. Odd. You'd have thought. No, here it is. Osmium fabric methane cartridge. Yeah, I can do that. I got a fabric somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Osmium. Just one osmium. Super alloy. I got the bioplast nuggets. Grab an extra two because I need the, them. I just made some. Which was lucky. And just the methane cartridges. An extra super alloy. What the hell is that? Why is it purple? Holy mother of God in heaven! What is that even supposed to be? That's not causing damage to my material, nothing will. Is it delivering material? I can't see. It's much, they're much smaller, much finer. God damn it. They're definitely depositing something. I can see something up there. Absolute swarm. I should check on my trees. Ow. That looks like it's almost done. Bloody hell. Okay. Let's have a look and see if that dropped anything off interesting. Pummeled this part of the forest. Doesn't seem like it. There's something up there. I'm gonna have a look. What is it? Is that super alloy? Yes, it is. Awesome. 
That, those had super alloy. I did think they look a little super alloy-y. And that dropped off more super alloy, including osmium, and this is definitely sulfur. I wish I could reach it. I can just about, if I aim my mouse right. I don't want to pick up the osmium because I've got some of that. Um, and it'll stay there, I think. This time, next log out. Didn't deliver very much. I'll have to keep my eyes out for more of that. Hit this part of the... Here, here's some more. Two more super... Oh, that's sulfur, that's fine. I, I'll take the sulfur. God knows I'll take the sulfur. Very small amounts of higher-end material. That was nice. Apart from the, you know, insistent bombing. Right, that, that manipulator should be done by now. And get a methane cartridge and let's get this mask on. The better the uh, terraformation does, the easier it will be for me to breathe it. equip that and that gives me negative 2.3 so it's almost doubled my actual capacity okay how we at how we doing a linfolia tree seed okay so it just takes that long to make one I need two mutagen shenga seed All right. So. Um, that's happening. Slowly but surely. And I had probably better just offload some of this crap somewhere. And I'm going to go grab some of that uranium. So I'm just going to offload a bunch of shit here. I'm going to pick up a bunch of uranium. Definitely don't need that pressure multiplier fuse here. I need more... Uh, water. Fill myself up. I need more oxygen. Do I? Let's try out this mask properly. Let's actually give it a go. That should give me double the time. Theoretically. Minus 2.3 seconds. No, minus 2.3 seconds, not minus 2.3 per second. No, minus 2.3 per second. If that slash is there and doesn't mean per second, then it's badly done. I'm going to try it. I should have enough time anyway. I'm going to try and get the uranium and get back, but I'm also going to grab some <gasps> forest. I'm going to grab some uranium, um, grab some cobalt as well so I can uh, deal with that. But that is a forest that wasn't there before. That's a whole thing. With flowers on the on the rocks and trees going up into the sky and I've got to check out more of this map and see what's changed since trees have come about. But I'm focused on my own power needs at the moment. This should be full by now. i got loads of time for this. Yeah, full of stuff I don't need necessarily. Cobalt I'll take. Titanium doesn't hurt. The silicon will be okay. I'll have to leave the rest in there. Maybe I should... I mean, this is just kind of kicking the can down the road. But if I put down a storage locker, I need more iron for that. Ah, I can... You've made... You've extracted some iron. Not enough. There's one more iron around somewhere. I might be able to put that down, assuming it goes outside. In which case, I've just picked up a bunch of useless iron. No, it doesn't go outside. A storage crate also doesn't go outside. Okay, never mind. Let's just drop it then. I don't want it. I've got too much iron. I'm mining it. Still, the uranium's good. That should be enough, I think. For three uranium rods? Maybe? Maybe not. 
I don't think so, but it will be pretty good. I'll be able to make minimum two and have a good progress towards three, and then I can... And then I can get some more power up, because the every um, mine I put down costs a third of these tier two nuclear power stations. So that needs to be uh, kept in mind. The silicon is good though, and the titanium is good, and I can squish the cobalt together into two oxygen capsules, and put the remainder in my cobalt thing. And that gives me, actually I got a fair bit of uranium there. I wonder if I could do three, come on. One, two, ah, uh, six short. Well, that's a good start. I want to get these trees. I want to have done something in this. Come on, 94, 95, 96. My neck. Gotcha. Okay. Now I need to put down two tree spreaders. I've got all of that. I just need to pick it up. So, some of it will be in weird places. I think if I'm now only got one Shenga seed, so I can only make one more tree. It's in crafted. Did two bioplastic nuggets. What did I need? I keep forgetting. Two fertilizer, two tree bark. Two bacteria samples. Is that everything? Two super alloy. Alright, more trees! Where do I want this forest to... Oh, wow. Let's... I mean, I don't know if this is the most efficient place to put it. But this island, I think, could use a bit of foresting. If I stick it right here, it gives it a bit of curvature. And how's about... We forest up this area. Right on the, right on the edge there. And they'll be producing quite a lot of uh, oxygen and growing more plants. So there's quite a lot of plants going now. I'm not sure how much effect I'm having on it. Like all over, there's actual full trees going out of the ground now. So biomass is at 109 tons. It's growing at quite a substantial rate. But we're still not making like insects. My next objective will be to figure out how to do that. Will be to figure out how to do how to make insects because uh, right now I got nothing, and I don't know how to get more of these genetic sequences. I can I can I now know how to use the DNA manipulator, but I don't know how to get more of these. So I've got to figure that one out. Um, that's just that. See here, you got these lava. These larvae here, that just seems to suggest that I'm going to be able to make larvae. Unless I get, have to wait for the incubator, but it seems a bit weird to have me this far ahead and not have any way to make insects. I think this one would annoy me. I don't want it automatically crafting things. I like to have control over it. Tier 3 mutagen. Osmium rod. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that one up. It's another thing I'm going to have to go onto the wiki for. Still. I mean, this looks great now. It's it's genuinely going really fast. Look at that. That's, that's bigger than it was before. I'm sure of it. I didn't see those uh, side things sprouting out. That's a bit of grass. Alright, I'm going to work on a few things. 